This gentleman is Mr. Sun Myung Moon, who is traveling around the world calling for the establishment of one world religion and one church. Seated next to him is his interpreter, David Kim. Mr. Moon speaks only Korean. Now, Mr. Kim, will you explain to Mr. Moon that if I take a merry, lighthearted approach to him, it's not out of disrespect, it's because uh, in civilian life I'm a part-time humorist. Go, all right. Now, Mr. Mr. Moon, according to your remarkable biography, uh, at the age of 16, on Easter Sunday, you had a conversation with Jesus. Uh, yes, he did through the revelation uh, in vision. Well, now, uh, you weren't with him, Mr. Kim, at the time. Uh, no, I, I was not there. Well, then, did, did Jesus him. speak a good Korean? Uh, and did it have a Hebrew accent? Uh? Uh, in Korean, they conversed each other. Uh, that means uh, spirit world, uh, when you spiritually contact or in spirit world, we converse, we carry the conversation with mind to mind, heart to heart. Yes. All right, now, at, at present, Mr. Moon is regarded as a messiah by many devout and, and very attractive followers. There are some in the audience tonight. Uh -huh. And, and he, he's regarded as a messiah. Now, there are, by my researches, 27 working messiahs roaming the world right now, and that doesn't include John Yoko and Lemon. Or John Lennon and Yoko. <laughs> oh, I get my messiahs all mixed up. Now, what I would like to know is, are the other 26 messiahs fakes and is mr moon the only true one uh, he never said he claimed himself he is the Messiah. Maybe you probably received spiritually through the psychopath. Oh I, like, I like humorous messiahs oh, no. myself. The one more thing, you cut me off. Yes, I'm sorry. Yeah. To act, yeah. to perform, the John the Baptist mission. Yeah. You must have received or through uh, this kind of uh, uh, message. I see. But but now here, and th this is what why I asked that question. This is, and can the camera catch it, an advertisement for uh, Mr. Moon's uh, appearance at Lincoln Center. It says, God speaks today, and there's a picture of Mr. Moon. Now, am I to understand, uh, Mr. Kim, that Mr. Moon is, is it really going to be a personal appearance by number one himself? Uh, this means God has no body, he wants to talk directly to the person on Sorry, earth. Mr. Moon. I know just I haven't finished yet. And uh, uh, so he wants to pick up somebody, representative, or his uh, uh, representative on earth. So he wants to be the, his spokesman for this day. That's why this title, God Speaks Today, not necessarily He Speaks Today, but uh, so God Speaks Today through... Through Mr. Mr. Moon. Yeah. That's what I said about three minutes ago. Uh, uh, but it, it's all right. You're fascinating. Now, now... Uh, Am I then to understand that, that, for instance, let me suggest to you that in the city of New York, there are hundreds and hundreds of, of clergymen of all faiths who are also speaking what their followers believe to be the word of God. At um, vastly lower rates, it's 18 bucks to hear <laughs> the word of God through Mr. Moon, and I'm sure it's worth every nickel of it. But you can hear the word of God spoken for free by priests, ministers, and rabbis all throughout New York. Are they, too, not speaking the word of God? Because <laughs> Uh, 
She had karate chop. <laughs> Don't mess around with the Messiah. Uh, uh, now, in order to bring the real value and the message he's speaking, uh, uh, he, he put this price uh, uh, because, uh, uh, according to his observation, throughout the world, including this nation, uh, uh, religious authority is sinking down, and even uh, believers of so-called uh, Christianity, also even ministers level, are losing their authority. In this situation, to bring the valuable message from God directly, speaking to the mankind or this nation through him, he thought it is a good idea uh, to uh, uh, this kind of, uh, uh, give the idea of a valuable uh, message and uh, People uh, giving them, yeah, even yes. though giving the free a uh, charge, better let them have, uh, if he were freely given, uh, it would devaluate uh, the value yes. of the, his message. The yes, I, I, that's a good, a Cadillac price on it. People respect it. We'll be back. We'll be, we'll be right back after Mr. Moon, we, 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 all of us uh, uh, have read and heard many accounts of the appearance of Jesus. You are the only man I have ever met who actually met him. Would you describe him to us? Was, is, was Jesus a, a, a black man? Was he a brown man? Was he a white? He appears just like a form of uh, a Jewish people style. Yes. He looked like, Jewish. He looked kind of Jewish, did he? Uh, like white. Looked like white. Yes. Uh, I see. Now, now, uh, uh, was he? How old was he when 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 Mr. Moon met him? Uh, Thompson. understands Thompson. every uh, word I say. <laughs> Brings him along only uh, because he wanted to make a trip. Huh? At 44 years old. Some, 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 some he was some 44 some years old. Some, was, was, some, some, yeah, some. 33 years of age. He was 33 oh. years of age. He, he, did he look like the pictures of him? Did he wear a beard? He told me not to Yes, he had a beard. He wore a beard. And what sort of clothing? What sort of clothing? Yeah, a long robe of Jewish, um, uh, yes. Jewish, Jewish people. I, I see. Now, did you ask when, when, you know, if a guy comes up to me and says, well, I am Napoleon or I am uh, 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 Bobby Sherman or any other uh, 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 incredible creature, I ask him for some credentials. Did Mr. Moon know that this was Jesus? Did he um, ask for any credentials? What convinced him? Uh, 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 he asked for a credential. Uh, 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 four years of age, after three years of age, so there is no need to credential for him. He, with, through his spiritual vision, he will be identified right there. He's uh, the one. Mr. Moon was born with the ability to recognize Jesus when he appeared. Uh, yeah, there was no question at all. Now, when Mr. Moon preaches, it says God speaks today. Does Mr. Moon feel a voice using, or a power using his voice to bring a message to, to his father? Mr. Moon, if God speaks today, the message is that God speaks to him, and God speaks to him directly. He receives message or revelation from God what contents would be, and he would converse with him. All right, now, does God speak always through Mr. Moon? Is God speaking through Mr. Moon now, or does he speak only on scheduled appearances? 
아, 그러면 저 그때 그때 할 적마다 하나님이 나타나서 말씀을 어, 주십니까? 그렇지 않으면 어, 한꺼번에 주십니까? 그러면 그때 그때 나타나서 필요할 때마다 그, 말씀. 그것은 그, 기도할 때 기도할 때 한꺼번에 그렇게 중보다 쭉 점진적으로 어? 에, 섭리가 발전해 나온 그와 같이 우리 에, 우리 자체들이 발전한 데 따라가 쭉 가르쳐 준다. 아, he has been uh, uh, contacting him progressively. Uh, gradually, some of the message a certain time, just like uh, uh, gradually growing, you know, stage everywhere we have through his prayer. So constantly, uh, gradually, he is receiving revelation from God. All right. Now, uh, but again, does uh, God, of course, knows all. God knows when the advertisement, this advertisement uh, appears. God speaks today. And at that moment, as Mr. Moon is introduced, God begins to speak to him. I mean, no, no, no don't take any chances on that. It but that's why he said uh, through, advertise this yeah. and not have it. Yeah, through his prayer before Henry, he knows. That's why already uh, he spoke yes. to you. Well, I, I myself, you, you know, I've taken a rather lighthearted approach to Mr. Moon. But if you were, I don't know if it comes over your television camera, but out of him shines the most un 